Step number one in our level 1.5 cross body lead to an inside turn. Leaders, by now you should have been very familiar or at least made yourself familiar with the cross body lead. As the follower has more work to do. So leaders, starting with the left foot, going forward, one basic. We go one, two, three, five, six, seven. From here, do your cross body lead, raising your left hand to check your watch inside, okay? So up, turn. That's what lead her to turn. So we go one, two, check your watch and let her through. Five, six, seven. Do a basic one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Check your watch. One, two, check, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now in close hand hold, we start with a um, open position. We do one basic. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Check your watch. Five, six, seven. Go to close. One, two, three. Cross body lead. Repeat. One, two. Check your time. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven. Now for the follow step, they have a lot more work to do, and Molly's gonna go over the step for the turn. Yes, so followers, what we are doing, we're gonna go back on one, two, three. Now we're gonna do as a regular cross body lead, we're just gonna add on a full rotation. So instead of doing just a pivot at 180, we're gonna do a full lap plus a half. So from my three, I'm stepping my five forward on my line, my six will start taking me around. My seven will finish the rotation and I go back on one. And this is once again gonna be so much easier with the support of our leads. But I will show it one more time, just mirroring with the guys. So we do the basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. We go one, two, three, stay on the line. Step five, turn six, turn seven, look forward. One, two, three and five, six, seven. Now, as we're holding hands, we're going one, two, three, five, six, seven. We go back one, two, on three, five, six, seven. I finish one, two, three, and five, six, seven. And just a little detail about the lead when on what count is gonna come, because it's gonna be crucial for us to be able to turn on the right, correct leg. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit hard to execute. So it goes, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. On five, that's the preparation. On six, the rotation starts, finishes off seven, and one, it follows through for the guy. So one more time. Just facing here. So remember the count on five, six, seven, you're gonna do the turn and then follow through on one. So we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, prep, five, turn, turn, one, and five. All right, one last key information for the lead, I mean for the lead here is really the arm. You start, when you're in close position, keep in mind as she starts to turn, your hand will lower a little bit to her midsection, okay, to her mid-back. Try not to go any lower than her mid-back, and then you go into on authorized zone. So from here, as she does this turn, one, two, three, I'm tracing her back. My arm comes down to all her, her belly button and it comes right back up as we complete the turn to catch one, two, three, and five, six, seven. 